Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pleased to welcome you here at the group exhibit Hydrogen Fuel Cells and Batteries at the Technical Forum here in Hannover 2014. Please come in, have a seat, have a drink on the house and enjoy with me our next presentation dealing with the topic the low price since MEA and PAMC stacks test stations. And your presenter will be Mr. Waldemar Stelita, the CEO and marketing manager from Novocell Energy Systems. Here we go and give him a big hand, please. Okay, so good morning, uh, good afternoon, or good lunch. <laughs> um, just to confirm. Okay, yeah, we are going to talk about Novocell, but specifically, we want to present to you uh, what we have developed during the last 10 years. The most important thing is we came to an MEA that has a low price comparing to the original technology supplied for everyone in this area. And of course, for us to understand how to achieve that, we did a lot of uh, test stations for ourselves. And then comparing the two technologies, we saw both as enabled to be supplied to further and uh, involved guys like I hope you are. Uh, main, main thing I want to discuss is uh, we are a company established for painful service tax manufacturing. That's our focus since 2004. So right now, we have both, just uh, assembly manufacture and also the generators. Okay? But uh, we understand that uh, what deserves the, the, the marketing is, is uh, demanding right now is what we had to develop under is the seven layer MEA. Seven layer MEA is a, is a, a new thing, a new way of, uh, of assembling the stack. And uh, I w I'm going to present you right now what it is. But uh, I saw from the talking to the many other customers that uh, this can be a very reasonable in, um, point for the ones that are working with this. And of course, if you do the MEA, you must test it, right? That's the main, f main point on this. So we have also the test stations for presentation. Very fast, what we have uh, in this seven layer MEA is uh, we produce that for fast stack assembling. Uh, we try at the beginning to produce in the standard way the stacking and takes a lot of things. One of them, between the 70 to 80 to 90 cells, always something is wrong. Something is out of the position. This is the, the, most, the most important point when you put all together. Uh, we use it most of the things that most other suppliers uh, right now uh, are using too. What we saw, something should be changed. So we uh, test many different approaches and then we came to this uh, this one that has the um, reliability uh, as a focus. So you can stack, stack most of them without many problems. I will show you right now. And of course, as we're talking about fuel cell, right? Uh, the cost is something that always, always a problem. Uh? I can see here many people are dealing with the same issues. We must have uh, some, some way to assemble fast and uh, with a lower price for, for each uh, kilowatt produced. And of course, uh, like I, s I said to you, two seven layers, we had to act on each specific uh, step on this. First thing was a membrane. We, we are able, because of the, all the tests and development, we are able to use uh, from uh, below 20 microns membrane until one, over 100 microns embry, uh, uh, membrane as well. It, it goes the same way. And the second thing, we had to, you, you that use that, you know, you have two layers of uh, GDL, one for the anode, another for the cathode. You can use those both. Even in uh, poop and paper, or even sorry, even in carbon paper that is uh, for highest uh, load, or or uh, textile. 
okay, woven. All of them runs the same way. And of course, we had at first to develop the catalyst. We use, uh, for our developed products, we use uh, uh, platinum. And uh, we had to define ways to achieve the good platinum for that. I will explain a little further. And to complete it, to solve the problem of assembling, then we had to come into in the electrical insulation and the gasket. Those two are the problems for assembling. So we put all together. And this is the main thing, the main different thing from the other way people use it. Uh, just for you to have an idea, we, we were uh, able to, to do it because uh, we started making the uh, nanoplatinum, we call, right? The, in the range of three, three nanometers, 30 angstroms. It's in 30 angstroms. We, we were able to make the platinum over carbon and then the carbon producing the ink with this uh, activated carbon, producing the ink, of course, in automatic areas. So we can, uh, we can run very fast. Uh, larger amounts. Um, that that may just explain. 100 grams per day is the 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 capacity we have right now. For some some definite reasons, you use uh, milligrams per square centimeter, right? So it's a lot of stacks that you can assemble with this this amount of uh, manufacturing line that we have right now. Uh, after you have uh, this catalyst ink, then you, you must apply it. So we have also machines for making the application. And then you apply it over or a GGL on carbon paper or a GGL on textile, carbon textile. Woven or not, no woven system. Uh, in this last part then becomes uh, what we have uh, developed right now. We are able to make uh, 300, ME, uh, 300 GDEs by day, both on the cathode way, is a GGE with uh, less or more platinum, or on the anode way, less platinum. Uh, and then, after you have the powder, you must uh, assemble the MEA, okay? So we use uh, uh, membranes, a large, large amount of membranes, and also the GGLs, uh, preparing in the range of 150 MEAs, so 300 uh, GGLs, 150 MEAs by day. Uh, as we understand right now, people are beginning to make uh, the stacks. So we are able to increase, to, to speed up. But in order to have this as a configuration for customers, we had to automate it most of things. So we have a laser, uh, machines, uh, application machines, furnace, everything is together. So it's just a new version, and you can put uh, whatever you have demanding. And in the end, we have the final GD, uh, the final ME. And this is, this is the guy, he's ready to be assembled. This is one important thing. After you have the MEA in seven layers, the assembling part is what makes that more useful for beginners or even for the guys that are already doing this for a long time. Um, before I show you the, 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 the filming, I want just to confirm, we are able, because of all this work, we are able to make uh, large cells. Large cells, I mean, in the range of 450, 540 square centimeter typical for automobiles or for large backup systems, right? Uh, but we begin at very low size, in the range of uh, uh, five by five square centimeter until this large one, 25 square centimeter until 540 square centimeter. And of course, like I, I explained to you first, I can confirm, we work in the range of 25, 50 microns or 100 microns uh, the film layer, the, the, the nafion layer, or other uh, potential suppliers for the membrane as well. Um, and the variety of gas diffusion layers, uh, those guys that work on this, you know. 
you can change it not only the the the, the material the be by carbon cloth or by or by paper cloth right but also you change the amount of uh, porosity in it so you use many of them and achieve results uh, and of course like i said also to you we control the platinum load it can be very low in the range of 0.1 uh, milligrams of platinum per square centimeter coming until two two milligrams is a very large one for uh, uh, other ways of running. Um, I have here, just for you to have an idea, I have uh, a, a, a potential and current curve, okay? Just for you to, to confirm, if someone, like most of the people, work for commercial units, your commercial units in fuel cell, is in the range of 0.6 to 0.7 amp, uh, volts per each cell, okay? So if you go here, you can have uh, between 0.7 and 0.8 uh, amps per square centimeter. With this uh, uh, form that we use for loading the platinum, okay, this is one thing that we had to do many different options until get what is feasible. Under our point of view, this is feasible. And then just for you to have an idea what I'm talking about, the the seven layers MEA, it goes very fast. You see someone making that uh, hand make, of course. This is typical for most of the guys that assemble fuel cell, right? And put the MEA with seven layers, then put uh, a bipolar plate, right? Can be metal, or can be graphite like this one, whatever is you have. And then you put again, main thing, main important thing, with this one, you have totally safe, okay? You can assemble how many? 89 cells without losing anyone. And the other important thing is easy to be automated. If someone likes so much and wants 1,000 by day, then we put two machines, automated machines, and make the assemble very fast. Right here is uh, five cells per minute. If you put a machine, it goes to 20 cells per minute. It's very fast. It's just automated, okay? This handmade, I think, is, is the option for most of you that are beginning to, to make the assembles. And not a machine yet, because we don't have many customers uh, buying cells. But when it goes to thousands, then you have automated possibilities with this MEA, with this different MEA. Okay, sure. Good. Now we are talking about another thing, right? As Novocell uh, had to produce the stacks also, the stacks in the range of uh, 2 kilowatts, 4 kilowatts, 6 or 8, at uh, different uh, voltages, of course, depending on the, on the kind of application, we had also to make something to test the generators. Because uh, when you have a gross power, the, the net power, is always different, right? For instance, for the two kilowatts is 1.7 at our case, but someone sometimes must do something about that. For checking out and confirming if you have enough equipment together with the MEA, we put that on test stations. We made it several ones, and then we have one that can be supplied also for the, one, the, the, the companies that are starting to do it, or the ones that have a very large amount of testing, okay? We understood that most important thing for a standard system for testing is you control far away, okay? For instance, uh, if, you, if you are uh, like me, for instance, I am uh, 8,600 kilometers far from the stack running, okay? How I do that, okay? I must take more people running that. We don't use that. We use just the, the, the record remote controlling and monitoring. One important thing, you, you not just uh, receive issues on your, your telephone, but you can control it. You can act and change parameters, change everything that is already uh, defined according to the results. You can check it out the results. Just for you to have an idea, this is a typical 
way somebody has, right? So if you just turn it on and check out. Oopa. Yeah, here. What we see is exactly in this screen, this operational uh, options. Then you, you can see the inlet of hydrogen, of course, in here directly. You can see the inlet of air and the humidification of air. Or you can humidify also on the hydrogen, whatever is the typical way somebody is making the development of your cells. And also you can reuse the heat. So you can remove the heat from the stack and just put in here. And then you have heat in hot water through uh, ventilators or whatever is the, the way you plan to use the heat. Okay? This is a way to simulate any application. You can simulate just uh, 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 backup powers. You can simulate uh, UPS. You can simulate, uh, like uh, in Asia, uh, homes running. Okay? that you use the energy, uh, electrical energy, and the, the, and the heat energy. I think uh, with this, then you can run 24 hours, seven, seven, seven days a week, without any problem, through a long way. I want to just, the ones that take uh, uh, good intentions about that, we have it running over there. Uh, through the, the computer, and you can see what is going on in this plant running in Brazil. Huh? It's uh, like I, I said to you, 8,000 and something kilometers far away from here, but still running. Uh, it's, uh, we begin this test uh, since last June, so it's almost nine months running, controlling wherever you are. If you are here, you can control. If you are in, in Asia, you can control. If you are in South America, whatever you are, it's not necessarily some operator in front of the system. Right? Uh, this is what I, I was uh, supposed to talk to you. I hope uh, some information were able to give an idea of what we are presenting. And uh, most of the things, uh, th like I said in the beginning, we try to have a reduced price for this kind of technical applications. OK? Thank you very thank much. You. Mr. Stelita? Yeah. Thank you very much oh, for welcome. this uh, informative sure. and interesting presentation. Uh -huh. So now to turn on you. Are there any questions uh, in the audience right now? So I don't. Just raise your hand. I don't see any hand right now. The, if there are coming uh, any questions later on your mind, don't hesitate. And sure. I think uh, you welcome everybody oh, at yeah. your booth. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can you can go to our booth. We're in the D. No, it's E sixty five dot dot two. <laughs> yeah, and it's here at the group exhibit: hydrogen fuel cells and batteries in this direction. I think. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Okay. Thank you. Very Thank much. you very much. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. So we have a short break now, just uh, about 10 minutes, and we will continue our program then with a uh, presentation from Eisenhut dealing with the topic bipolar plate and gasket production for PEM fuel cells. Thank you for staying. Just enjoy here with us a, a cup of coffee or tea or soft drink. Thank you very much. <laughs>